Hi, this is Mel Sol from the Phil Ritson Mel Sol Golf School and this is your May 2012 golf tip and this is the second in a series of three golf tips on pitching but not the regular pitching that we normally do but unusual situations. So last month we covered pitching off a really tight lie close to the green. Uh, the next one here is pitching off a downhill lie. Again the green is not very far away and uh, I've got this little downhill here and again most people here will tend to want to chip this with a sand wedge and even though the bounce is not going to affect this as much as the tight lie shot because I've got a little bit of cushion under the ball the angle of the sandwich at 56 degrees because I have to play this a little bit further back in my stance I'm now going to de-loft the club so again I'm looking for a club with more loft so again we throw away the sandwich we go to the lob wedge and if you don't have a lob wedge in your bag get one it's a very very versatile club and uh, I use it a lot myself so here I've got this downhill lie and I definitely want to play this ball kind of forward to the back of the stance and what I want to do first is do a couple of practice swings and I'm choking down a little bit here because this ground back here is higher than this ground here so I want to choke down so I'll put the club down on the ground first and then take my grip so that I make sure I'm choking exactly the right amount so then when I do my practice swings I'm noting where the bottom of the arc is and for me the bottom of the arc is right over here so this ball position is a little bit too far forward so I actually want to move my feet down the slope again there now that's about right I'm catching the ball right there so now I know that I'm going to hit the ball first again with this shot stay down you got to really if you come up very quickly again here you're going to skull this ball because you need to keep the club traveling down the hill so I set up with my hands again well ahead and from here I'm going to concentrate on staying down on the shot this is not a shot that we get to practice so sometimes find a little downhill area near your driving range or um, or on the course if you're out there to go and practice just to get a, a feel for exactly how you should do this. Try it, you'll save some shots on the course.